Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or hi TG gang, welcome back to my channel. So if you're not part of the TG gang, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below and you are immediately part of the family. So in today's video, please don't mind if I look up, I'm just checking if the lighting is still okay. I am using natural lighting to film again today because it is quite a hot day. So using the box light means I'm going to be sitting in an oven for a very long time. And we have a whole lot of perfumes to go through and I don't want them to also get too hot because that will spoil my perfumes. So in today's video, I am going through my 2020 perfume collection because I've heard, um, I once posted a photo of like my little vanity area where I spray my perfumes in the morning or when I'm leaving, wherever. And a lot of people showed a bit of interest in the different perfumes that I have and what I like. I obviously have a lot, some that I purchased myself, some that I've received as press drops. So I'm going to be going through them, there's quite a bit. And I'm just going to tell you a bit about the fragrance and whether I like it and whether it is something that I would recommend for you to buy. So we are going to get through the first bottle. And I'm not going in order of a favorite or anything like that, but just going through my whole perfume collection so hopefully there is something in my collection that you might think hmm that sounds interesting let me go have a look at it but obviously you can't be going out to test perfumes right now we are in lockdown pandemic but these are perfumes you can keep at the back of your mind and after we're all allowed to leave the house maybe this is something you might consider buying so for the first perfume that i have here it is this bottle over here this is the modern modern muse sd lauder you will see there is not much of it left because this is genuinely a perfume that i love i love the scent the scent's amazing for work it's amazing for just like a normal day out um yeah this is this is a day perfume it's amazing for women from all walks of life whether you i just don't think for anyone younger if you're under your let me, let me just do this because I have so many that sometimes I just have to remind myself. So yeah, I think if you are, uh, after you're like your 20, like after you're 23 above, I think then you would consider getting this perfume. It is a beautiful scent. Estee Lauder does make a, like mature scents. So if you're someone that's into mature scents, then I definitely think this is something you would consider. For my second bottle, this is my Mon Paris. This is by YSL, so I don't know, I'm not gonna pronounce it. And another thing, guys, there is no master of pronunciation, so please don't come at me. So there is no master of pronunciation. If I do get something wrong, you can cringe in your bedroom, wherever you are. That really does not bother me because someone, um, you know, corrected me in one of my videos, but it wasn't the nicest way of correcting. Just say, yeah, it, it, it is actually pronounced this way. Don't be like, oh, I cringed when you said this. It's just not a nice way to correct someone. I don't know. This one is one of my favorites. It is one of my favorites because I think you tend to stand out with this one. I have not seen a lot of people, well, I've not smelt a lot of people wear this one. I do have perfumes in my collection where a lot of people wear the same scent, so it's very difficult to stand out from a crowd when you wear one of those. So even though I, I wouldn't want to be like, oh guys, go get this one because then everyone's gonna smell like me, but this is one of the perfumes I would highly recommend if you want to stand out. Um, also, I have received a lot, a lot of compliments from the opposite sex when I was wearing this perfume. It is absolutely divine. I don't know what it is about it, but when you wear this, a lot of men are always like, oh, what are you wearing? You smell good. Um, even my friend who is very like precautious when it comes to smells, every time I wear this, she's always like, Frank, you smell so nice. And that's Vungai guys. Like Vungai has got like certain perfumes she doesn't like. Well, she doesn't like on her, but she likes on other people. So, this smells absolutely amazing. Second bottle that I have is this Michael Kors Wonderlust. 
it says it's a sensual, sensual essence. Like this perfume, if you're someone that loves a vanilla note, then this is something I'd highly recommend you get. I like this, but I am not like an absolute fan. I can tell you if this bottle runs out i don't see myself panicking saying oh my gosh my michael kors ran out i need to get another bottle whereas in my collection there is perfumes that if they ran out i'd be like oh my gosh like this one if this runs out i'm definitely going back to the store for this whereas this i love it it is too strong like it is i don't know like there's a scent there's a note that is too strong for me that I don't like in this perfume. But then the thing is, throughout the day this changes and I don't mind it. I only mind it when I first put it on and then later in the day I'm like, hmm, okay, I like you, we can vibe. But for me, I just feel like a perfume should be something you get excited about from the minute you wear it. The next perfume, this is a new one in my collection. It is still full. This is also a YSL Lib Libre. Like, if, if I'm not pronouncing it right, don't me. We're not going to have this conversation again. There is no most of the pronunciation. I'm not French. I'm not whatever. But love this. This is probably going to make it into my top three scents already. I don't know what it is about YSL scents. They make absolutely amazing perfumes so if you're someone considering perfume and you're like this is my gonna be my first splurge on perfume and you don't know which brand i would highly recommend you start with ysl like ysl just like how their bags oh my gosh like if you want to give me anything and like i can't wait till i can afford a, a ysl bag guys <sighs> oh, okay if, like just like their bags and everything else and their shoes and how um it's simple but elegant so is the scent this is new but i already know i love this and this is something i would really say like bye 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 um i sprayed this like one spray on my arm and i went to my sister and she's already like are you spraying perfumes and i literally just sprayed one perfume so this is absolutely great i can't say so much because I've had it for about a week. Okay, so this is Hugo Boss, The Scent, Private Accord. So this is new, also in my collection. It is a nice, um, it smells good, but my issue is that this is not long lasting. I wore this the other day and I sprayed myself and my sister could not smell that I put on perfume. And I'm like, what do you mean I have And I had to respray myself. And she's like, I can't spray, smell this. Then I sprayed it on my arm and I wanted to see by the end of the day if I could sm still smell it. Because on my arm, if I want to see if I can, if I still smell like perfume, I always do this throughout the day because that's one of the points where I put perfume just to check if I need a little bit more. And this fades and wears off faster than most of my perfumes in my collection so if you are someone that has a lot of perfume then adding something like this into your collection is is not gonna hurt your back because you're someone who genuinely spends money on perfume but if you're someone who perfume is a splurge then i wouldn't recommend this one because it's not gonna last that long it's 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 a nice beautiful scent i guarantee you that um it's very different but for something that you want as your go-to scent or something that says this is who i am this is not the perfume you would spend your money on uh my next scent is this lancome um uh, i think it's called idol idol i don't i'm not sure about the pronunciation but this is it this is also something that's new. It's very different, but I will tell you something. I'm noticing that the notes in this and the notes in this are quite similar. There's something about them that make them a little bit similar, but this is long lasting as compared to that. This is a beautiful scent. Um, 
it really doesn't give me a vibe of like an age group or like it's only for the older people like if you're quite young and you want to stand out and smell different this is something i would say try it my only issue is like this bottle is so slim so if you you know how sometimes you put on perfume and you quickly rushing out the door and you want to put this down it can fall if you don't give it yourself time to balance this it's like you're playing dominoes when you put this down so my only issue is that the bottle i love the concept slim beautiful like hello is this even perfume but my issue is that you could easily break this but it's not about the bottle it's about the smell and the smell is it's it's got a bit of a floral note to it if you're someone that but it's not a strong floral note it's very nice i love it um i haven't used so much of it yet so at the moment i can't say if this is something i would run to the store to go and buy but this has already disappointed me so this is something i wouldn't run back to the store and buy so okay we've already gone through a little bit we still have got a lot more to go through my next one is this voltaire and voltaire zadik zadik and voltaire this is her um this perfume is one of those perfumes that is just totally different out of this world unique it's not like all your you don't find a lot of floral scents that are similar to all the other perfumes it's like the notes they pick for this are just like so 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 different i love this perfume but on specific days so it's not like one of those go-to perfumes but it's a perfume where i'm just always like i feel like i want to smell like that today it also does get a lot of compliments but also warning this is a perfume that quite a few people have so you're not going to be very unique when you get this um it's not like a standout perfume a lot of there is quite a bit of people that have it so it is a nice scent i would highly recommend you go and sniff this if you do manage to get to a store after the lockdown but yeah that's my next perfume and i don't really have much to say about it but i just think because a lot of people have different views on it this is not something i could just say oh i highly recommend it you actually need to go out and smell it for yourself to decide whether this is something you like or not the next bottle is this black opium and this is the intense this is one of the most beautiful scents on a woman i will guarantee you that i will tell you that the compliments you will get when wearing this are like out of this world a lot of people love this a lot of men love this on women but the chances are you're probably gonna smell like if this is someone you've just made you probably smell like his ex um because a lot of women also have this so this is not a unique scent if you're gonna buy this black opium because black the weird thing when i used to work in a perfume store when i was about 16 black opium hadn't introduced these ones they only had the that one in the bottle the brown one the ones that your mom wore in winter back in the days and when i first encountered black opium i was just like this is not for me i am not the target market but lately they've introduced um scents that meet all age groups so this has no age like this is such a beautiful scent and one of the most amazing scents you can wear at night so if you're someone that goes out at night a lot or if you go to dinners this is one of those scents that puts your outfit together you know like you can look good your face looks good but if you tie it together with a fragrance then oh uh, girl you got it to the t so i would highly recommend this but please note that you're not the only one that's gonna smell like this okay the next bottle is this one where someone came for me because of my pronunciation apparently it's la vie 
la vie belle okay i hope i got it right for you so you don't cringe but let's be honest guys there is no master pronunciation we are not french and the french also have english words they struggle with but i'm not going for them the way you guys coming for me so obviously this is in the la vie belle family but this has a stronger note of the, ro uh, the rose floral scent. I know La Vie Belle is like one of those popular scents on every woman. I remember the first time I ever smelt um, the original La Vie Belle. Um, I was working at um, the Big Mouth. If you guys have been to the Big Mouth, I used to be the hostess there when it first opened. I remember working there and I remember helping a lady to her seat and as she walked this scent kept on going and going and obviously I didn't want to bother her before she had sat down so I literally said when she leaves I'll ask her and I asked her and she finally told me and I remember from that day I just said I have to have that perfume in my uh, in my perfume collection I don't know how I don't know but I had to have it so this is similar to that but if you don't want to smell like every other woman that is in love with that perfume you will definitely get this one because this has a stronger rose floral note to it so this is something i'd highly recommend smells good long lasting it's it's a scent that doesn't run away it's a scent that a lot of people notice when you're in a room and it will definitely get you a lot of compliments so another thing that I'm starting to, a trend that I'm starting to realize is that I do love Lancome and YSL uh, perfumes. So I feel like they have mastered perfumes. Like, oh my gosh, for me, I don't know for anyone else, but for me, I am totally in love, okay? All right, so the next one is this Flower Balm um, Midnight uh, by Victor Rolf, Victor and Rolf. Um, so obviously this is similar to Flower Bomb and when Flower Bomb came out um, there was a song Flower Bomb something like that and everybody wanted this scent I remember when that scent came out I was still working at the perfume store and every guy it wasn't even so much as the ladies buying it it was the guys coming in because they heard this this line in the song and they had to get it for their girlfriends but this is a very very nice scent it is also um similar to it has a, a few notes that are similar to your black opium so if you're someone that loves black opium i definitely do think you will like this fragrance it is beautiful it is a beautiful scent i obviously can't say much about it but it is also one of those scents where because i have so many other perfumes that are similar to this uh, if i ran out of this bottle i don't think i would freak out and need to run and rush to the store because the reason why i have a lot of perfumes is because i feel like i am one of those people where i wake up feeling a certain way and i connect that emotion to a fragrance or when i'm dressed a certain way and i'm in an environment with certain people i connect that to a fragrance and that's why i love having so many so even while i'm still using the rest if i run out there are fragrances that i feel like i need to go back to the store and refill and put back into my collection so another one also in my collection is this beautiful Bell by Estee Lauder. Um, like I've said, since back in the days when I've always worked in the perfume store, one thing that I've always noticed is that Estee Lauder does make fragrances for the much more mature woman. So this is obviously after like the age of 26, I would say. Or like even if you feel like in your 23s you're mature enough to wear this, it's one of those fragrances that obviously it stands out more on a mature woman than it would stand out on you if you were younger i'll just be like okay yeah you smell good but on a mature woman i look at her i look at her posture and then i connect that to the fragrance she's wearing so sc loda obviously i'm 20 i'm turning 28 this year so i am a mature woman 
<laughs> so this fragrance does sort of like suit who I am on certain occasions. There's certain events when I know I'm going into a meeting, boardroom and I'm meeting maybe the CEO or I'm meeting whoever and whoever's boss. I know I gotta pull out the SD Lauders girl. So um, yeah, these are mature fragrances. So if you're not some, if you're someone that doesn't like the mature fragrances, then I definitely wouldn't recommend this for you. But it is a beautiful scent if you are above the age of. To be honest, if you're above the age of 24, this is something you would find yourself going for. If you're younger, there's so many other fragrances I could recommend for you. But those were fragrances I went through at that age. But I don't see myself going back because. I'm, I'm older, I'm at a different stage in my life. And obviously in my collection, I had to have the fragrance that every woman feels the need to have in her perfume collection. This is the Lovey About, the original scent. This is a beautiful, beautiful perfume. I think every woman should own this perfume in her lifetime. It is one of those perfumes that if someone else in the room is not wearing it you definitely will stand out um but i can guarantee you if you're meeting someone um don't wear this if you're going on a date for the first time with one because chances are the ex smells like that <laughs> to be honest yeah um so it's a beautiful scent but uh the reality is you will not stand out with this perfume a lot of women like I feel like if women had to have three perfumes only, these two would make it into their collection. So these two, beautiful, but it is a scent that if you wear, I would obviously smell you and be like, hmm, you're wearing black opium intense. Nice choice. And I'll be like, God, <laughs> jokes. But that's the reality. Um, the next perfume that I have is this. 212 Carolina Herrera and um you know when I was when I when I was younger yeah when I worked at the perfume store this was not something I looked at I never thought I would grab this so my so my uncle gifted me this perfume and the story is quite the funny one uh when he gave me this he said that it was time I got married and maybe I need help finding a man and it might be my perfume that's putting them off. So he thinks that this will help me get a lot of attention. <laughs> uh, so my uncle lives in the UK. He's, he's a bit of a funny oak, but yeah. So that is the story behind this. He's like, yo, Anan. Ink almost is and I'm like, where are you gonna put cows? And they, like, you in the UK, what are you gonna do with cows? So anyway, he got me this, and you know, at first I laughed at him, and I was like, oh, he's joking. But I actually do get a lot of compliments from men when I wear this fragrance, and I would like to believe it's because it is a fresh smell. So when you wear this, you don't smell like the ordinary female perfumes that are like that have a sweet hint to it this is just like a clean fresh smell so i think if you are someone that loves dolce and gabbana light blue this is also another perfume that you would want to add to your collection so yeah definitely love this um still going through it and yeah it's also one of my favorite perfumes at the moment the next one I have is this Cacherel. Yes, I am. Um, this fragrance, I would definitely say if you are under 23, you can get this fragrance because it has that sweet, sweet uh, note to it. it. It is in line with your Kim Kardashian scents, your Britney Spears scents. It is very sweet. Um, if you're a mature woman, this might be too sweet for you. This wouldn't be um, the perfume that you you find yourself saying I need in my collection because I was gifted I love it I, I wear it on certain occasions but I do have to be aware that when I am in situa certain situations the sweetness of it can be quite overpowering for other people so I just um, yeah I wear it when I want to smell sweet <laughs> um, the next fragrance in my collection is 
not CISO by Narciso Rodriguez. So also this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. I will tell you one thing, Narciso Rodriguez makes amazing scents for women, especially like the, um, for her, I think it's called for her, it comes in a pink bottle and a black bottle. Um, that was one of my favorite fragrances for a very long time and the other day I was in store and I smelt it and I was just like, when I do get a chance that is something I want to buy again. So this, I don't know what note this is, I would like to think this is like a jasmine or I don't know what it is but it smells so beautiful. Um, this, I got a lot of compliments wearing this. So it is running out, I think I have a few squirts of this and I'm out, literally out. So this is also a perfume I would highly recommend. Anything from Narciso Rodriguez I would highly recommend. Okay, he makes beautiful, beautiful um, fragrances. So if you are looking for a new fragrance, this is also another sort of like, how can I say, uh, line. If I were to say makeup line, perfume line, Narciso Rodriguez, their line of perfumes are beautiful on all women. Um, and another thing is that when you spray this on your skin, I don't know what it is about Narciso Rodriguez, but when you spray this on your skin, it smells differently on every single woman. It doesn't smell the same, so it actually like reacts to your DNA and makes it smell unique to you. I don't even know if that's true, like if that's physically possible, but yeah, that's my experience of Narciso Rodriguez all the years that I've been wearing it. Now, another perfume, this is not full, this bottle is empty, I literally have one squirt. This is Alien, this was my first perfume that I ever fell in love with. This is, the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is a refillable bottle and this is like my winter fragrance. Um, you will get a lot of compliments when you wear this, a lot, a lot of men love this fragrance um obviously the bottle is a bit quite weird um but this is one of those beautiful scents if you were to invest in one perfume in your life i would highly recommend this because this you can wear from when you're young to your when you're old i just don't know it just smells so 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 beautiful and i really can't wait to refill this and i do know that um when you get a refillable bottle i think it's it, it's it I know you get the refill from it because I don't know anywhere else that refills um, obviously you could like just ask around but it is quite a pricey scent I think when you buy this with the refillable bottle but it's an investment because you never have to buy a brand new bottle you just go there they remove the cap they fill it in and you're good to go so this is like the end of like my uh, designer perfumes if I could say and now I have the more affordable ones that I wear on my everyday like if I'm just going to the store so if I'm just going to the store if I'm just going to the post office or whatever um these are the scents I wear so the first one is the Isabella Garcia and I was introduced this I was introduced to this fragrance when uh the people from Isabella Garcia contacted me my, contacted me themselves and said we would love to send you one of our fragrances to try. So when they offered to send me this, I literally just picked it from reading the notes and the scents, like the notes that were mixed into this to make the perfume. So I wasn't quite sure what it would smell like, but when I received it, it was a beautiful smell. Like it is, it does almost smell like it could pull off as a designer scent so when you wear this like nobody would know that this is like and i think this is about 500 and something rand so it is quite pricey even though it's not designer so it does smell like it is on the designer end of things so another perfume that this is i think i normally wear this when i'm indoors so this is zara white i love it it's a fresh clean smell so if you're someone that's into like a clean scent, um, 
This is a fragrance from Zara that I will always go back to and Zara fragrances are always, always so affordable and they do last for the price. So it's not a chain smash if you spend this, like money on this. Um, another one is this Miss K Ride the Waves. So I think you get this from like Foshini or True Words. I'm not sure which one, but um, yeah, this is something I wear every day when I'm just going to the shop. So I'm gonna go buy it groceries I will wear this this is a clean fresh scent it smells like something you would wear if you're going to the beach it smells like something you'd wear if you're going to the pool it has that fre fresh wavy like scent to it okay another perfume that I like is this Avon Lac so the reason why I like this is because this actually reminds me of the apple be delicious but it's it's got similar notes to it but it it's obviously not but it does sort of like smell like it's almost like a knockoff of apple be delicious so because i used to wear that perfume for a very long time and sometimes when you wear something for a very long time you do get over it i wanted something that smelled like it but wasn't it so i went for this avon this is actually my second bottle and it's something i would definitely recommend if you are someone that buys stuff from avon and obviously this is something you would be able to get because i do think in certain areas like in in johannesburg they do deliver so i think this is something you would still be able to get now the other day i also got something for at home when i'm working and i just don't want to waste any of my designer perfumes and obviously nobody is around i still do love to smell good when i'm doing nothing so this is called pink ambition it is by scarlet hill mr price and it is one of the most affordable perfumes in my i think it is the most affordable perfume in my collection i think this was about 80 grand so yeah that brings my perfume collection to that the end this is the end of my protein collection but this smells um, this smells really good it's very different it doesn't smell like any uh fragrance i own or any fragrance i've ever tried or any fragrance i've ever i smelled while i was working at the protein store because like uh, when i used to work there i sort of i worked there for about two three years i knew what every fragrance smelled like so if someone stood next to me i knew what they were wearing um but because after that, I didn't work in a perfume store for a very long time. That sort of disappeared, but there's still certain fragrances that I know. So because this was so different, I had to have it. If you're someone that loves perfume, every time you come into contact with something that smells different, you are always like, hmm, maybe I need to have that. So I know this is a lot and it probably costs a lot to get all of them at once. Perfume connection is something that you can build over time. So you could probably get yourself one every three months, splurge on one every three months, and that is how you would build on your collection. Um, advice, I would say it is great to at least have three perfumes that you change so that you don't smell the same all the time. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you would love to hear, to see more videos, uh, about perfumes maybe if I did a video on the most um, complimented perfumes from my collection then I am definitely open to doing that so thank you for watching I know the light is a bit off now but I just didn't I got tired of like changing it so thank you so much for watching my video thanks for constantly coming back uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe much love so as i was saying there is oh this light can you just stay in one place for one second please